everyone to dcw blast hello 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 and hello to my co-host webby hola john and hola everybody stream working okay for you yep so far so good so far so clever i hope you're all having a great wednesday of shut-in time Uh, whatever it's worth i've heard interesting stuff about that but we're not gonna pay attention to that now we're gonna focus in on blast from dallas texas live from dallas texas Yeah. i used to live in the dfw metroplex so there you go all right fun 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 so first up is austin okay oh oh yeah okay don't know why that's not full screened. There we go. This is simply unprofessional. I mean, there I might be. Listen, s- we're <laughs> we have less technical difficulties than you do, John. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go again. It has been one week since I helped Webby win. All of the people ask is why, and all the people ask is why. It's simple. I wanted you to know I was coming, Webby, coming for your hide. And when it's all said and done, I wanted you to know I will always be in your face. That title you wear is on borrowed time. Soon it'll be with a new owner. Someone who's ready to take DCW to new heights. In the back of a horse. Someone who is original in every way. The D&D originals are here to take names and kick ass. We will destroy you. Destroy what you built. Take what is precious to you and leave you in ruins. Because we're not the elite. We're not unprofessionals. We're the originals. And that is not a promise. It's a spoiler. (laughs) Someone that, of course. We're back on track. So we're going to kick off right back into the match that we were in. (laughs) Nay. Nice. All right, Austin, here comes the pack. I will say I like this entrance, except for the fact that Jax doesn't step over the top rope, but I can I can overview that for the rest of it. Yeah, we lose that one now. We get tag team entrances. 745 pounds, everybody. Most of it jacks. Most of it jacks. <laughs> yep. Oh, no. oh, yeah, you're right. He doesn't. He kind of goes through the top rope. Yeah. If we're truthful. Well, listen, when, when the combined weight is 700 plus pounds and you have one person who's eight foot three, you know, it's going to be kind of one sided. Seven foot four. But yeah, OK. Whatever. He's normally <laughs> eight foot three. Yeah, I realize, but in reality of this game, he's seven foot four. <sighs> All right, here they come, money and paper, baby. Rubby's favorite tag team. Oh God! <laughs> As a DM, I've already killed off one of these people. It's Spoilers. True. It's true. That's not a promise. That's a spoiler. Uh, That's right. Why does the Titan Tron say he's Slater? Because because John just gave us an 
tag team intro and didn't change the Titan Tron movie yet. No, I haven't done a lot of them, so a lot of them just have the uh, WWE. But uh, we're slowly, slowly best tag team name. I know, I like it. It's not the tag team, actually. It's not even the tag team name. It's the fact that uh, when Austin comes, or Austin, when Astonis comes in, it says Warlock. That's his whole point of annoyance. Ugh, I hate all of that. <laughs> I hate it so much. All right, Jack's back in. So we're back. We're up. We're running. Everything's working. Yay. Don't jinx it, John. Let's hope it stays you shouldn't that have said, You shouldn't have said anything. You should have just been, let the roller coaster ride. Okay? Yeah, I know. All right. Some quick, stiff punches coming in. Oh, grabbed him by his horns. Ow. Well, you know, that's, that's the price you pay when you have horns. Yeah, okay. it is. Flipped over. All right. Is Jax going to get control? I have noticed with Jax, one of the problems that he has with some people is when he goes to strike them with, like, a punch, he punches over their head and doesn't actually connect. Mm. He's just that tall. Yep. Well, I mean, he dwarfs everybody else in this ring. There's nobody even close to his size. I know we bring this up every time we talk to him, but, I mean, I think the closest guy is six foot seven, and, the, like I said, the tallest height is he can be is seven foot four, so he's almost a foot over their height. See, and at times when we do the, the, especially the tag team stuff, he dwarfs the frame, which makes me giggle. Not gonna lie. All right, Sonus in now facing off against Jax. Big clothesline sends Jax down. The ref looks like my friend Dre. I'm gonna say it's him. Sure, you do that. It's Webby's favorite ref. That ref is blind as a bat and <laughs> needs to be reprimanded. He does miss a lot. I'm not going to lie. All right. So it's Corbin in. It's not even the fact that he missed it. He was staring right at the chair being used and then thrown out. And he's just like, man, whatever. Yeah. What's that? Oh, it's metal. Mm, that must hurt. All righty. Okay. Stop. Now. Oh! What is that? Is that a cutter? Diamond cutter? I can't remember the name of it. It's not a stunner. Right. I'm not sure what your debate here, Kurt. It's not PC. It's not the game that's causing the issue now. If that's what you mean versus a console, it's just the streaming that's problematic. All right, and this could be down to the fact that I've been having computer issues for the last two months, if I'm going to be truthful. All righty, here we go again. And dropped on his back. Neck breaker. I don't think that was a neck breaker. Webby, you hear me or what? Oh, God. I don't think NetWebby hears me again. So, we're just going to keep talking. Nope, I don't, John. <laughs> That's, That's fine. fine. Okay. Interesting. All right. So, we'll get to the end of this match. Hopefully, at that some point, Webby will come back into the... <laughs> okay. I can't disconnect or he's going to lose the stream. Yeah, Kurt, drop it. Um... I got you now, John. Okay, good. Okay, good, good. Yeah, we could hear him. It's just he couldn't hear me. That was the problem. Nope. What? I lost John again, folks. Oh, good lordy. Alrighty. Connection. <laughs> trip. Brings him down. Smashes him on his back. Throws him into the corner. 
Following up. Tag in the money. All right, here he comes. Big boot by Astonis. And tag out. I wonder if it's my microphone. Well, you guys can hear me, so it can't be that. I don't know what's going on. Elbow to Jax. Oh. <laughs> both both those boys are out down there. Oh. Hey. Caught on the rope briefly. <laughs> Alrighty. Tries to come in for a punch. Doesn't work. Oh, I got you back now, John, oh. for two seconds. All right. We'll see how long this lasts. All right. I mean, I don't know quite how to monitor this to be able to see what's going on. Throws him back into the ring. I will say Jack's not performing the way I think he should be, but... All right. Coming back up. Going off the top rope. And completely misses. Jax got him double arm and a little up. Double, what is that called? Close, butterfly suplex. Okay. That is double arm something or other, but maybe I'm wrong. Big spear or gore, if you would. Stomps on his face. Trying to roll out. Tackles him again. Now, what's he going to do? He's got an opportunity to possibly finish Astonis off. Goes for the cover. Corbin comes in. Two. Oh, kicks out. All right. Picking him up. German over. So now what? I notice Astonis is still down. Alright, Astonis in with a high. Bad. Oh, my brain's going dead. Clothesline, there we go. Alright, these two locking up. Throws him over. Taunting? What? Come on now, Jax. <laughs> Gets him oh. up. And throws oh, him out. Power bomb to the outside. Ouch. Jack's stretching, just kind of getting himself all rested up. Oh, kick to the midsection. Hand strike sends Asanas down again. Tries to go in for a kick. Clothesline sends him down. Oh, I just realized I am not full screening this. There we go. Oof. Astonis putting a hurt on the big man. Seven. Up to a seven count. Yeah, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um, what's he doing with him? He's trying to throw him back in the ring, but trips right there. Yeah. Um, really? Oh, no way. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that that was a unique ending. I feel cheated on multiple levels. I feel <laughs> cheated as Jax just plain and simple. I feel cheated as an announcer. I feel cheated as a viewer. <laughs> Astonis beat Jax. <laughs> Here are your winners, Demon and the Warlock. The, the Warlock. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, goodness. Astonis getting a cheap win. Who would have thought Now it? I have to kill Astonis. <laughs> See what you've done, John? I know, I know. Yep, that's one way to win.
Oh, Kurt, you're <laughs> making this worse, Kurt. <laughs> the Warlock beat Jax. All right. And what is becoming quite the little rivalry, Lilu is taking on Ursula tonight. These two have faced off a couple times now. And uh, I think Ursula's won. Well, the interference she won, though she lost. Um, and I think she won the match on Monday. I think they had a match Monday. Could be wrong on that. It's all blurring together right now. Not going to lie. Okay. So are we ready for our second match of the evening? <laughs> it's only uh, almost 8 o'clock my time. All right. Hopefully that's the end of the nonsense. Let's go. No more cheap count out. Oh, this fucking hat. <laughs> you just love it. And everything is purple. John, <laughs> why do you do this to me? Like, <laughs> I mean, it's not purple once she gets the coat off, to be fair. The coat and the hat are the only purple parts. Have you ever been destroyed? Waiting for that call. <laughs> Brenna won Monday, okay. Thank you for remembering, Kurt. I don't know why my brain is not working tonight, but it is not working. And her opponent, All these malfunctions the are driving me crazy. I don't know if it will show up here, but I've tried now. Yeah, I don't think it does. No, no, they're still looking like that. Okay, I think I've got it sorted out. So very soon when these entrances happen, they won't all basically be doing the same entrance over and over and over again. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Immediate strike to the face, chops right off the bat, just hardcore kick to the midsection. See, no, no purple now. Happy? <laughs> it's kind of a brown red color combination. All right. Kind of like a copper. Yeah. Okay. Ursula taking charge. Thank you, Dave. Who's keeping stats in this game? Uh, I have been. Although, I'll be honest, I haven't done for a little bit. Backbreaker stretching her out. Lilu's struggling with that one. Kick to the top of her back. Kurt, I think I thought you were supposed to be keeping the stats in this game. <laughs> Well, the other problem is the way I was keeping the stats, I wouldn't have had, like, what happened on Monday exactly. I was keeping just wins and losses. All right. Big kick to the face. Tempted stomp backfires. And Ursula fires her into the corner. Drop kick into the turn, second turnbuckle. I see. <laughs> Kurt says he's not a commentator. He doesn't need to take it down. All right. They are stretching Lilu's back out, really putting pressure on her. Not giving in so far. But she keeps on trucking. They lock up again. Oh. What all is happening right now? Stretching what her out. This? She's got her in a submission move. Ooh. Steps on her midsection, picks her up, stretching on the arms. Continues to put pressure onto Ursula, getting her into jeopardy. Now goes for a quick pin. One. No. Not quite enough. Lucha submission move. There you go. 
All right. Picks her up. Now what's she going to do with her? Throws her into the corner, comes in. Quick punch, although that was snappy fast. Misses on that kick, rolls out. Now she's back in. And what's Alexa going to do with her? Oh. And now she goes for the back breaker. Mm. Her back stretch. And immediately fires back Diz Lilu. Lock up again. Fist. Now she's trying to. Yep, she flips her. Now it's a pin one. Try to go for the sunset flip. It hasn't really worked so far. Though we did get a small package victory yesterday or Monday. All right, goes for the quick pin. One, two. Oh, very close. All right, Lilu stands up just to get hit, but Ooh, then reversal. Yep, fights her way out of it and. Mm. Splatters Ursula on the canvas. Now going up the high rent district. 450. Is she going to go for the pin? Yes, she is. It's going to be enough. One, two. Ooh. Thought she had her there for sure. Going up top again. Yeah, she's going to do it again. Yup. Oh. One. Two. That's going to be it, right? Three. Yes, it is. Lilu beats Ursula for the first time. Twice in a row, she does that 450 and just destroys Ursula. And that seemed to be all she wrote. <clears throat> all righty. That was uh, quite the immensely <laughs> loose big butt Here's made it in fact. Oh my goodness. Psycho, Lee Lewis, <laughs> you like that name? Better what than you, Warlock. What they say? Lee Lewis Jacobs. Oh. It's because she can't say Lee Lou. There's no Lou, apparently, even though Lou Albano is a thing in the WWE. Yeah, they do well. not they do not say Lou. So you can only do Lewis. Uh, but whatever. So All John, right. since the start of the DCW. Mm-hmm. Who has had the longest lasting rivalries to date? Uh, probably either you and Austin or possibly Rob and myself. That would be my guess. Just based on everything. I don't think anybody else has had that lengthy of a rivalry to this point. Though you could argue... Well, yeah, at one point I would argue the unprofessionals and uh, British Union, but obviously as things have changed, that hasn't kept up. Making his way to the Here ring. he comes. Rename Decibel. No, I still haven't found an audio thing. I keep forgetting to look for it, by the way. When you comment on the fact that he has a dragon on his stomach. What? Quiet or little toy. Okay, so why? Who did you think? Or do you have any idea? No, I, I, I was merely curious, is why I asked. I figured it'd probably be me and Austin, our rival to have been gone going for quite a while. Yep, yep. I mean, and then I finally thought it was over, and he won the money in the bank, and I'm the champ, so it's not over yet. No, I don't think it's over yet. 
Here he comes, Avalos. I mean, it could have been Avalos and you had Avalos not lost their build to destroy, but you know. Right. He's back after losing his title last week. Avalos be looking for some revenge, I think. Been a rough one for him so far the last two months. Speaking of Avalos, losing the uh, the world title at Build to Destroy, and then after winning the Triple Crown at Distractorama, promptly then losing it the next night or the next week, I guess. Well, that I mean, that would make sense, Kurt. Slight issues with uh, Despel having an entrance song from Sonic Youth. Oh! I mean, this is Despel. You should have an entrance song from Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> uh, yeah, if things wouldn't get copyrighted, there'd be lots of options I would love to have. In fact, my, um, my, uh, Entrance song for my character in the one federation would be perfect. Was it Enter Sandman? I think it was Enter Sandman, yeah. Which, of course, Sandman had in uh, ECW for a long time. Back when they didn't really enforce things like that. Quite the same. All right. Beautiful people? Hmm. See, whenever I think of beautiful people, I think of the beautiful people from TNA, who, uh, definitely not that song. <laughs> really. Uh, I don't know if Webby remembers them. I don't know if you've watched TNA much. Yeah. Oh, okay. One of them is married to Bubba Ray Dudley now. Big high. Ella. Uh, an uppercut. Decimal goes for the pin. Oh, no. Way too close. <laughs> oh, high cross body catches Decimal. Oh, but then he gets a quick boot in. Decimal's putting up a good fight in this match. He's had a rough go of it so far and is struggling to uh, get wins, but uh, he's off to a good start here. Avalos rolls out, trying to recover his energy. Oh, kick to the face. Oh. Oh, he tried to turn around and spin a ram out, but uh, yeah, that didn't work terribly well. Okay, Avalos picking up. Oh, crotch dropper. I know it's got a real name, but that kind of works for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, goes for another kick. Gets caught. Hmm. Stretching him out, but not enough. Avalos still fighting out. Okay, so Avalos dragging him over to the ropes. Got him positioned on the ropes, then just randomly tosses him down. Steps onto him, and again. Of course, now that we're past 8 o'clock, having less problems. All right. Oh, that was a big miss. You missed with that one, yep. Oh. Oh, busted open. Decibel not having a good time now. Oh, but he catches Avalos. Waiting for him to get back up to his feet. Struggling now. Oh, and tossed out of the ring. So far, we've seen one person get stuck outside the ring. Are we going to have two? <laughs> uh, 
All right, so now goes in for the pin. One, two, no. All right, so Avalos needs to work a bit more. He needs to start putting some pressure onto uh, Decibel. He's let Decibel have way too much offense considering the situation. And uh, he just needs to get down and get dirty. Decibel comes in with yet another European uppercut. Tries to go for his leg. That didn't work terribly well. Thrown around. Now, oh, it's got him locked in. Kurt, I agree. <clears throat> uh, for the longest time when I had like wrestling games and stuff that I played, I always pictured my guy coming down to White Zombie. Ooh. High forearm shot. Picks him up. Oh, but instead catches Avalos. Catches him again. Oh. Oh. Now, wiping the blood off. Hard to tell with his uh, face paint, to be honest. Okay, he grabs Avalos, tosses him into the corner. Oh! oh. Avalos just grabs him and tosses him. Oh, twist of fate. Close to the pin. One, two. Oh, Decibel not going to go out that easy. Oh, he's going up for the high risk. Drops an elbow. Oh, onto the back. And kicks for good measure. Goes back up again. Now he's got him flat on his back. Is he going to drop the elbow again? No, he goes for the Swanton Bomb. And here we go. One, two, three. That is it. Avalos with a couple of high-risk maneuvers working out for him. Here is your winner, Shay. After a bit of a rough start, he got back in it, took control, and uh, looks much better off for it. But Decibel actually hung with him for a bit. Be interested to see if uh, if this is a sign of things to come for Avalos. As he needs to get back in that wooden column and get back up the ladder quickly. Okay. All right, so now we have everybody's favorite. It's Logan versus Donnie. <laughs> oh, God, I hope Donnie fucking wraps a lasso on this guy's neck and drags him around the room. <laughs> uh, bum, 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 bum. All right, we even get to hear our favorite song again, too. So excited. Here comes Donnie. Making his way to the ring. No longer a part of the Kentucky Derby. He's on his own now. Sorry, I'm listening to the song. Uh, oh, me too. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All righty. So Donnie, after having won that number one contendership, will be looking to gain even more traction against Logan. <laughs> Here he comes. Our boy. Our boy. 
It's Logan. And his opponent from the from 13 the colonies. He's like that guy in school who thinks he's so cool that he doesn't have to pay attention. Failing history class. Uh huh. Wearing fucking American flag pants coming out to British music. Like <laughs> <sighs> well, he'll be quite happy as the uh, British Union retained their championship at the TLC match that they had with. Uh, with our uh, <laughs> guy you love to hate, Logan. That's right. Uh, against um, Abyss of Eternity on Monday, so uh, he'll be looking to continue that bout of success for his group. Not the way to start, though. Donnie coming in and putting pressure on him straight away. Puts him up, kips up. Oh, but misses on the follow-up kick. Now thrown into the ropes. And, oh! Oh, DDT. Caught him out there. All right, so Logan catching fists and elbows now. Thrown onto the apron. He's stirring the pot. Oh, but then didn't follow up with anything, so he let Logan get back in. He stirred the pot for far too long on that one, John. He did, yeah, he did indeed. All righty, so now. Oh. Able to get him over. Pin attempt, but not, not good enough. Didn't lock a leg, didn't do anything to actually try and get him down properly. Logan able to follow that up. Now pulls him over. Now he's got a chance, comes in with a big overhand strike. And follows up with a suplex. So now, can he get in there, get the job done while Donnie's weakened? Or will Donnie be able to fire back as he just did and start taking advantage of him? Well, I don't think that's the way to do it. One, yeah, no. Simple one count. Oh, quick drop kick. Just got it. Hmm. All right, Donnie heading up the top. Waiting and crashes down. Catches Logan while he was sitting up. That must have hurt. Turns him over, goes for a quick pin again. One. He needs to lock the leg. He's not doing enough to keep him down. And Logan's just getting up really quickly and easily. Turns him over. Goes for his own pin. Two. Oh. All right. Logan looks like he's getting ready to make a move. He's waiting for Donnie to get up. Oh. But Donnie catches him. Turns him over in a half crab. Is Logan going to tap out like a little... Never mind, I won't finish that sentence. <laughs> little baby. There you go. Ooh, kicks out of that. Able to get out, pointing at nothing. Logan yelling at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you stay down. Catches him with an elbow, I think. Donnie tosses him back into the ropes. Rock kick sends Logan back to the mat. Hello, Rob. Um, well, can't really speak to that. We've had our share of issues this day, but Donnie taking him to school, smashing Logan to pieces. Logan's had a relatively good record as of late. 
after getting off to a very, very rocky start of zero wins after about 10 matches. Since then, he's been more or less breaking even. All right, here we go. Donnie drops oh, an elbow. Down he goes. Spanish announced team getting up, fearing the worst. Logan gets his back smashed into that concrete on the outside. And once more, oh, he's going to get thrown back in, possibly. Oh, taken to the apron and then just dumped. Rob, I'd say ad blocker. That's about the only thing that works for me on those occasions. But if you're going on your phone, I have no solution for you. Oh, neck breaker. Will he follow it up? Logan has the opportunity now. He's finally got Donnie where he wants him. Donnie rolling into the middle. Oh, but Logan's waiting for him to get up. Not sure that's wise. Leap and oh, misses. Oh, to the gut. Yep. And Donnie is... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's doing with those ropes right now. <laughs> Glitch through the ropes. Kind of dance. All right. Ooh. Overhand strike. Ooh. Zigzag catches him. One, two, three. three. Donnie does it. Is this a look, a glimpse at what Donnie might have in store for Ed Post. I mean, one would think <laughs> that could very well be the case. Donnie certainly is one of the better wrestlers in the organization. He certainly can, on the right day, win the championship. But uh, Rob has been very good, so we'll have to see. But, uh, yeah, yeah, nope. Good, good match for Donnie. Good win. Solid win against the competitor who's been having some success. So that's what you want to be able to do when you're in this situation where you're getting ready for a big match. You want to be able to show that you can run with the big boys. Well, if Donnie wants to run with the big boys, he's got to not winner, be in there with the Logan. <laughs> I mean, Logan didn't even throw a chair in the ring for no reason. I know. Well, it's because he's not managing. When he's a manager, he throws a chair in. <laughs> All right. We're on to our next match. Which is, oh boy. The D&D &D Originals facing off against the uh, Danger Us Alliance. I almost forgot the name for some reason. Donnie's a mid-card draw at most. Wow. I mean, he's going for a mid-card belt, Kurt. I mean, that's right level for him. He's a B-plus player. <laughs> that's it. Kurt throwing down uh, the glove, man. Next week, Kurt versus Donnie. <laughs> he showboats too much. Oh, my. Uh... All right. So. Speaking of guys who are possibly on the lower half of the tier, um, will Chris and Anthony be able to get a win here? Non-title match, by the way. So, so this is the unless they've had matches on Mondays. Uh, this is the second match that they've had since winning the belts that they haven't. Put them on the <laughs> so they're scared to allow nice. somebody to fight for their belt. I see, I see. Wow. So, by the way, with this music, I was trying to go for like the NWO um, guitar kind of chord idea sort of like with um uh uh shoot uh undisputed era 
kind of that you can. guitar focus song, you know? <laughs> no, Webby, there's no one worthy of a title shot yet. Dave, get the table. Nice. The reason why it's a non-title matchup is because these two have not won against the champions, so they have to win in order to get a shot. In fact, probably the ones who would probably have the best chance against them right now, I would have to say, is probably the uh, unprofessionals. You're damn right. Here they come. It's our boys. I like how Dave is the upbeat one skipping around. <laughs> All right, Kurt. If you gotta, if, if you gotta beat the champs to get a title shot, me and Devin, we, we want a shot at non-title shot at the champs. Uh, I mean, you got bigger fish to fry. You're. I don't, I don't care. No, I'll, I'll do both. I'll work I double see. time. I see. Gonna triple H this, are we? Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, well. Oh, okay. I thought he was like gonna tag. Well, I don't know what. Away. I don't know what he was thinking. <laughs> Chris making a big mistake right off the bat. Dave picks him up or attempts to, and then gets taken out. Chris finally getting into the match instead of trying to. <laughs> Jump onto the top rope. Not sure what that was. Uh, well, everything Chris does, he has to try to do with style. Yeah. So if problem. he's going to get the shit kicked out of him, he's going to do it with style. Yeah. I mean, like I said, kind of the weaker half of the uh, the D and D originals here. We're not going to lie. Camel clutch. Oh. Oh. That one. I don't know, Dave. That might be a maneuver you need to stop doing. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't give anything about Chris's top rope maneuvers. No flips, just fists. What is hap what what is happening? What okay, is this? Well, um what What, what is this what? all about? Oh and then he kicks him in the butt. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's a new one. Oh my goodness. Uh. <laughs> oh, tags out. Kurt now in, catches his uh, one time rival in the face with a foot. Oh, it's hit in the stomach. That's a Chris move, all right. Paradise Lock, apparently, is the name of that. Oh, man. Dragging him over to the corner. And tags in Anthony, the high flying luchador is in now. Oh, big RKO style move there. Dave back up, Kurt. Hi, crawl. I uh, bet my brain going dead on some of these wrestling moves oh missed the high cross body though caught out kurt kind of giving chris the business and then takes anthony over and spins him into his corner hurricane rana sends kurt to the floor or to the floor to the mat and now working on that arm again sonata oh, okay And now pushing some boots into Kurt's face. Coming in. Oh. Kurt getting roughed up. Okay. Anthony tosses Kurt into the corner, but misses on the follow up. Kurt catches him out. Backbreaker. Dragging him around the ring. It's like he's trying to use him like a mop. Ah, uh, picks him back up. Wobbly Anthony thrown into the, the corner now. Almost got squashed on that one. 
He did tag out. Dave jumping up on the top rope. Whoa! Assisted leaping shoulder tackle. My goodness. Kind of a, a, a fastball special there, almost. Ooh, just a slap right across his face. Anthony cannot be doing too well now. Dave Splash shoots him, throws him to the ground. Going for the cover. Chris coming in. But Anthony able to kip up, get out of that straight away, but then walks right into a power bomb. Power slam. Power slam, sorry. Oh. Drop to hole. Anthony trying to get a little bit more momentum. Yeah, the crossbody didn't work terribly well, but he caught him with a little bit of a super kick to the face. Um. Grant <laughs> saw that and whoops. <laughs> That would be making Boxmania, you know? It should be anyway. Anthony spending more time as a mop in this match. <laughs> that actual offense. Thrown into the corner. A little reverse splash now. Oh. But finally gets some action. Oh, Hurricane. Yep, Jawbreaker followed up by Hurricane Rana. Oh. Catches him with an RKO out of nowhere. Quite literally. So what's he going to do? Oh, that 450 did not go well. Oh, Dave gets thrown over the top rope. Nope, he's going to tag in Chris. Probably a wise move after he's been getting pummeled. Chris coming in. Big strike sends Dave to the floor. Not really a surprise. Probably not Kurt. the best idea for Chris to go out there. <laughs> nope. Not when you get caught by Kurt. Straight away. Both these boys struggling to get up now. Dave first one up. Kicks Chris to the mat straight away. Now what's he going to do with him? Oh, bashes his head into the apron. What's he going to do now? Another strike. Another, followed by a third. Oh, into the apron, and now he's bleeding. Chris is getting trashed. Thrown back in. He's dragging himself up and does tag Anthony. Whoops, bit of an error on Dave's part there. Hello, welcome to the stream. All right. Oh. Tried to catch him. Did not work. Oh. Cross body. Nope. I don't. Hmm. Okay. Don't know what that was. It didn't work. Anthony trying to square up to Dave. Probably a mistake. I'm just going to say. Oof. Slams him to the mat. Lazy pin. Probably would have got him. Oh. Kurt just. Lambasting Chris. Dave looking pumped up. Is he going to finish this off? Has he got momentum? Big move. One more time. Throws him overhead. And spine buster to the canvas. He just needs to go for a pin. Don't keep putting this much pressure. Oh, throws him. Bexley. I, ah, playing with Bexley. I don't know. Hey, there we go. <laughs> I get it wrong every time. I'm sure I've got it wrong again. Big uh, Daddy Hipster Turd. <laughs> big win, big win for the champions. Taking out the trash. Beezer, Beezer. Jeez. One of these days I'll remember it. it hasn't happened so far. I need to put it like a paper down with all these finishers. It would help. And signatures. Yeah, get get the little paper that shows you like uh, like a little picture of it happening with the name <laughs> next to it. Yeah. There we go. 
gave himself a concussion with a headbutt. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Yep. Hey. Oh, and again. Kurt apparently wanted that one more time. All right, the boys with a big win. Looking for new challengers, it looks like, for the pay-per-view. As, uh... John, if you had this list, you'd take longer to say it. I know, that's <laughs> the problem. I know, that's my problem. That's part of the reason why I haven't bothered. And I'm just trying to remember them, but... It doesn't help, I keep forgetting. All right, so... Moving on. There we go. <sighs> All righty. All right. Stream rules. Wow. It's our main event, baby. Stream rules match after last week. <laughs> Remember them. My Remember. bet, no weapons get used. <laughs> I mean, who knows? Who knows? It's, it's weird. So last week, Austin interfered, causing... Uh, the brawler to lose to Webby. If you remember, he dragged Webby on top of him for the victory. So now, uh, the brawler wanted a little bit of revenge. He's got unfinished business with Rob, but for now, he's going to take him on straight up. So let's see if our D&D original can, uh, can get a win against the champ. Again, non-title. Undisputed area, yeah, that's right. I want to see a table in this match. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> I'd like to see weapons in Extreme Rules matches. I'll see match without. You know what I haven't? I've noticed as well is the women don't bleed. It doesn't matter what weapon is used on them; they don't bleed. It's kind of weird. There's a joke in there somewhere, John, but wow. uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Yeah, no, no. I wasn't in, intima intimating any of that. I'm just going to say. All righty. Webby gets the My prediction hey. is that Brampton Brawler is going to win this match because the DCW is great. <laughs> well, I mean. If you see me give the high sign to the referee, you'll know. <laughs> it paused. Uh, it's running fine on my end. Yeah, it's apparently running fine on my end, too, so. <laughs> we got a table that's by commentary. <laughs> Alice Cooper says only women bleed. Wow. Mm. Here he is. Women are too tough for that nonsense. Uh-huh. So Webby versus the brawler. The champ. Doesn't really need to win here, but I'm sure he wants to win here. Kurt's guessing there will be a run in by Austin. Well, if last week's anything to go by. It probably hit me again. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Love that belt. Shame about the SU on the front. Eh? <laughs> Gotta love the SU, boy. <laughs> if it was uh, up to me, I'd take out a can of green spray paint and just do SU right in the middle of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You'll have to talk to Clark about that. All right, here we go. I'll NWO it, and every time I beat someone, just do SU across their chest. Well, that would be difficult. This game can barely do what it does now. <laughs> All right, these two lock up. Chops and strikes early. Hey, Jewel, how are you doing? No Devin comes in by helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. That would be his style. That would be, yeah. All right, Brawler trying to deal with Webby early. For those of you wondering, the reason why he's Brampton Brawler is that's because I named my character that way back when I was just playing as a single player on uh, WWE 
2K16, and I've kept the name for my character in our new fed on 2K19. <laughs> Devin yelling, I got you, Webby, I got you. Uh, I mean, truthfully, truthfully. All right, take down, kick to the back, sits him up, misses on that engagement. Not a good start to this match. No weapons used yet. Oh! Webby getting in a big strike. Goes for a quick pin. Are we going to have an Extreme Rules match with no Extreme anything? No, not That's how yet. they generally go in this league. <laughs> I know. DCW is not well known for actually having Extreme Rules in their Extreme Rules match. Of course, there is no count outs. There is no uh, disqualifications. Falls do not count anywhere, but you cannot be counted out. Just FYI. I believe you must be pinned in the ring. If I remember my Extreme Rules matches. Oh, he picks him up. And bomb. Power bomb to the ground. Sit down, power bomb. Webby's celebrating. He's happy. He's got the bomber where he wants oh, him. Busted open. With my a goodness. big knee. Early, early blood. Uh oh, John sees red. He's gonna he's gonna pump up like Hulk Hogan. Now. <laughs> I want blood. Well, you got blood. You got blood. Oh, oh! Throws him out and over the top rope into down to the floor. Now they're gonna take it outside. What's gonna happen now? Oh, just tosses him down. Oh, and a big powered I like, up. I like this line. camera angle. It's great, isn't it? All right, he's got him up again. He's, oh, that oh. cradle oh. ET. I know Kurt will correct me on that, but that's what I call it. All right, yeah, it's strikes. like a, it's like it's almost like a fisherman ET, like kind of yeah. like a fisherman suplex. Yeah, so it's back down. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, Webby getting pummeled now as Brawler finally taking back the fight. <laughs> John cuts himself for the drama. <laughs> I mean, not wrong. <laughs> oh, I gotta allow that. Sorry. Uh, comes in. Overhand strike, then catches him in the stomach. Oh, little hiccup there, but we're still going. Oh, is he gonna try it? He is. Pile driver! Oh, into the concrete floor. Ouch. There's only a thin mat between them and that concrete. So, uh, yeah, that one's got to hurt. Once more blood. <laughs> Webby's down and out. Oh, kick to the if I'm generous gut. If I'm not generous, it looked like it was a low blow. Oh, high knee sends him all the way out to the floor. Webby liking that. Out he goes again. Picks up the brawler. Kick to the gut. Oh, now he's going for the pedigree. Oh, mm. on the concrete floor. I got to get you back in the ring, though. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. Look at the blood. He is bleeding like a stuck pig. He's got blood on his chest now. Oh. You wanted blood in this match. You're getting it all on one person. Oh, jeez. European uppercut. Brawler. Kick. We had a bit of a stutter. Oh. 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 Choking what him out. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a ticket. I know, right? Cock shot. How about that? <laughs> Oof. The brawler has got the crimson mask. My goodness. That is about as bloody as you're going to get. Puts him over. Goes for a pin. One. No, not, not, not enough. Even with Webby mostly unconscious, he's not going to go out that easily. Champ is not going to be put down quite like that. Oh, tries to go for a clothesline. High forearm strike. And another. Getting himself ramped up. And spine buster off the rope. Oh boy. 
Webby does a a dog slide <laughs> over the corner. <laughs> I did. I kind of gl glided across the ring there. Yep. <laughs> oh. I can't remember what that move's called. The only person who does it is our truth, and I can't remember the name of it. One, two. Ooh, that was close. Ever since he got really splashed, the brawler has come in hard and strong. That sounds about as awkward as it gets. I cut too deep. That's right. Ooh. Oh, oh, no, now Webby's bleeding. Strong. Double arm DDT pin. One, two. Three! Oh. With the blood dripping everywhere, the brawler gets the win. Listen, I just want to say Ed Quist wanted me to come out here <laughs> and let you win to amp you up for his match, but he wanted me to at least send a message. So. I mean, message sent. Not going to lie, that is the grossest I have ever seen anybody in this in a match in this WWE game. Holy You're hell. You're getting blood all over my simply unprofessional shirt. This is <laughs> rude. Know, right? Yeah, like like why why has he got blood all over his chest? I don't even get yeah, Oscar Street Cutter, thank you. Truth or consequences. Truth and consequences, that's the other name, yeah. Uh Here's your winner, <laughs> the brawler, Jonathan Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I had some debts to pay, all right? I had to, I had to lose on purpose. The oh. mob approached me, John. All right, I'm hey, in a tight who's, spot. Who's, he they just wanted waved. me to take a dive. Uh-oh. Oh, motherfucker. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's cashing in. Here it goes. John, you knew this was happening, didn't you? Aye. I'm as surprised as you are. Oh! Don't you lie to me. We're underway. We're underway. <laughs> it was a bag on the three so it happened that I wanted the wrong winner and no weapons. I know this. What was the no weapons about? I don't understand this. An extreme rules match with no weapons. Oh! Pedigree. Could Austin lose the MacGuffin in the bank right instead of winning one? Two! Remember when Brenna cashed in, she rocked Runa straight away to get the win. There was no messing about. This match, however, Webby is not ready to go out quite that easily. And Austin is getting himself stretched around quite a lot for somebody who's facing a guy who's already been in the match. Oh, what was that? Pele kick. I knew that one. AJ Styles, baby. One, two. No, not enough. <laughs> I called it. Well, I mean, you figure. Overhand strikes. Webby getting control again. I mean, it's the magic of television, Jewel. Blood just disappears. <laughs> Man, so help me if I lose this. I suspect there's going to be health to pay. Let's just put it that way. This is like a second match here now. Throws him over. Webby coming in with a big headbutt. Oh, but misses on the stomp. I'm not gonna lie, I'll be, a, I'll be relatively happy if I just make Austin bleed at this point. <laughs> stomp on his face. Well, Webby was bleeding at the end of the match. Not gonna lie, that was like the last thing that happened effectively before the pin. Oh, Boston Crab. Oh, the crab from Bean Town. Oh, oh. come. On. Nope. Webby trying to drag himself to the rope slowly, ever so slowly. I just, I just had a match, okay? I'm tired. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Drop kick. Sends Webby to the mat. Picks him back up. Austin slaps. Goes for the chop, then goes for a slap. Then a kick. Now goes for the pin. He's got him down. One, two, no. Webby hasn't gone down to pins very often, so you're going to have to work a lot harder than that. Even if he's tired and exhausted after another match. Thrown into the corner. And it reversed. Strikes. 
thrown back into the corner now. They keep flipping around. Oh, but he drags him out. Looks like he's going to get ready. It's his power bomb. Oh, no, power bombs him into the turnbuckle. And stomps on him. This has been a very long match considering the situation. One. Oh. Jesus, come on. <laughs> John, you know how this ends already, don't you? I cannot say. All right. Stands him up. Tosses him into the corner. <clears throat> oh. Hey, what are you doing stealing my move? Oh, one winged angel goes for the pin. One, two, he oh, kicks out again. On. Panda slap, panda slap. I keep slap. thinking I'm going to see it, but. Not so far. Oh, locked on this chop. Oh, my goodness. And house of fire from Austin. Goes to the pin. He's got it locked down, cinched in tight. Two. Oh, oh my God, John. That was, that was within an inch of touching the mat. I'm just saying. Drops a knee on him. John, you need to message me and tell me who wins this match. <laughs> <laughs> my anxiety is through the roof. Let's go into the top rope. Austin is up. Oh, he oh, misses on, on the, the frog splash. <laughs> Squash. <laughs> Fix him up. Oh, powers him down with a sit-down power bomb. John Why am I going up top? I don't I'm not know. a high flyer. <laughs> Webby's up. He's waiting for Austin to get to his feet. What's he going to do? Oh, he misses oh, on the drop kick. That's why I'm not a high flyer, people. <laughs> The missile drop kick goes to the pin again. Oh, two. Oh my gosh, with his feet on the ropes, even. Webby's just fighting his way through this. Oh, he stole my move. He stole my move. Second time somebody's done that. Austin goes for the cover again. Another cheap cover. Two. Oh my goodness. So far, so good. Oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. We know Webby's weak to submission moves. We've seen this before. Oh my God. Oh no. Austin, by hook or by crook, pulls this out. Great, so now I'm gonna go on a massive losing spurt all the way up till next Royal Rumble. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be that. I wouldn't allow that. Let's just put it that way. I put you up against a little bit a few times. <laughs> there he is. Cashed in successfully. Awesome. Fuck him. I want my rematch. <laughs> Well, I would suggest it's probably coming at the pay-per-view. I've even got a suggestion for a, uh, a stipulation, if you like. Oh? Last man standing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can do that here, and you can watch the latest video up here. And if you want to know more about what we do, be sure to check out distractionsmedia.com.